Okay, well, we got a couple of days to fix things around the boat because they've locked us into the port here. So, another head job. Get some light in here. That is a Y valve. I don't have these on my boat, but this is the lineup from the toilet when you pump it. And this selects whether it goes overboard or back down this hose right here into a tank where you can hold it. So, if you're in a marina, you would normally hold it. We have an overboard right now, which is typical because when you're in a marina, most time you just you take a piss into the toilet, and to take a dump, you go up to the marina. In this case, that pipe probably leads back right into the water here anyway. But hey, flip it like that, and you're putting it into your tanks. We don't want to do that. But a macerator is hooked up to the tank, and then it chews it up and spits it out once you're 12 miles out. And the Coast Guard really flips out if you have that valve in the wrong position. So I just didn't put them on seeker. All the sewage goes into the tank, and you can flip the button on and pump the tank out anytime you want, but there's no Y valve. And then the toilet gets this water over here. That big seacock there, that's for the drains for the sink and the bathroom here and the kitchen. And over a little bit more, that little one, that's the water feed for the toilet. Now the trick here is it's got a little T-handle on the back side there. You gotta loosen that first. It'll leak a little bit and then you can turn this handle here. Give that a few turns. And this should be able to move. Yeah. I like that. You can't have it come on accidentally. Okay, now toilet removal. Okay, not a lot of water. If any of you got queasy stomachs, you, you really got no place being on a boat. You gotta get over that first. You gotta get over a little puke every once in a while because you or someone else is gonna do that. I worry about people who think they gotta live in a sterile world. They must use teak on these things down here because. I mean, it's in good shape. It's nice and hard. We just need to put another screw in it, make it a little more stable in here. A little bigger screw. Let it dry out, clean it up, and then fix the toilet in the meantime. Skipper Type 8. I love this pump. Well built. Brass and bronze, and uh, you know, you can tell it. You could get rid of the paint, it'd look fantastic. But it uh, holds up well. The parts are easy to uh, take apart, and uh, they're still available. So. If you need them, you can buy pieces for it. And that's the main plunger. And I tell you what, I just can't think of anything better to do on a beach than work on a head. Seriously, it's just a lot better than sitting, drinking a beer. I swear, people say, what are you gonna do when you retire? I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink beers. It's like, for how long? Doesn't use O-rings, it uses stuffing glands. That's the old one there. Pour in some mineral oil, that'll lubricate that big piston down the bottom. And then water the primer. It makes me need to pee. It's not pouring out anyway. Yes, it is right there. It is? That's horrible. We didn't tighten up the choker valve. Maybe that'll do it. Yeah, there it goes. I'm feeling resistance now. You're okay. No drip down there, that's good. You know, those things being brass like that, it'd be pretty to sandblast them and put the clear coat on it. Mm -hmm.